So uh, I'm going to do a quick video for you on how to demo the uh, virtual analog synthesizer, really modeled on a classic Mini Moog. This is the Mini Moog it was actually modeled on um, for the uh, Shark Audio module. And I'm going to give you some context first. This is the instrument that the, uh, the virtual analog is modeled after. It's a Mini Moog. It's from this particular one's from 1971. And it's really an elaborate lab oscillator, and it's controlled with voltage control. I'm just going to show you a couple things on it, and then I'm going to show you how that translates into the version that's running on the Shark Audio module. So this is pretty classic here. You've got the filter. It's the, also known as the mode VCF, and you've got modulation. And we've got the same layout uh, in the Touch OSC interface, but basically there's a couple oscillators. Two are used musically, one is used as a modulator. Um, there's a mixer, uh, and then there's two envelope generators, one for controlling the filter, and the other for controlling the volume. Put a real slow attack on it. So here I have the uh, Shark Audio module. It's been programmed to be the Mini Moog and the effects chain. I did put on the special jumper after I programmed it uh, so that it will boot to being the Mini Moog plus the effects chain so I can just power it off and power it back on to reboot it. Um, I happen to be using a Bluetooth interface because it's just easier for me to connect to an iPad with a Bluetooth interface, no wires in between the two. And then over here we have uh, Touch OSC and it's, it's set up with the same layout that you saw in the Minimo. Here's the oscillators, here's the mixer, here's the filter, and the two envelope generators. It's pretty much the same thing. And then over here uh, are all the effects. There's a flanger, there's a chorus, there's an echo and a reverb. And you can access all of these things uh, from this Touch OSC interface. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do when I'm demonstrating it with Touch uh, OSC. I tend to not play with the oscillators because it's pretty complicated to program these and there's a lot of trial and error. The most effective way i found to demonstrate this is I turn up the emphasis, which is the Q. These two uh, control the Q of the filter, and then I play a note. And you get that classic uh, Moog sound. Also, a couple of the things that I like to do is to go to the effects chain. I like to turn on the chorus. There it is with chorus. And let's give it a little reverb too. And I also turn on the glide, so you get this classic um, analog synthesizer sound. I'm going to do a brief performance. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the chorus to thicken the timbre of the sound. And then I'm going to turn on the reverb to place the sound in a space. And finally, I'm going to turn on the echo but you'll notice there's only one echo. So what I'm going to do is turn the feedback up all the way so that it regenerates infinitely. That way I can create a short loop that I can play on top of. Let's go ahead and do this. Very nice. Now I'm going to turn off the echo to lock in that loop. And I'm going to go back to the main synthesizer and I'm going to play something. And then finally, we'll go let the uh, echo go off on its own. <laughs> 